Hello, hello, and welcome to One Place Guide to NFTs on EOS. The blockchain Spain is going crazy about those, and we couldn't help jumping on that bandwagon too. But once you get an NFT, what's next? In this guide, we'll talk about what makes NFTs special and how you can trade those. By the way, if you're on the mobile app, you can switch to native vertical view from the description below. Let's go! If you're exploring the play to earn frontiers on OnePlay, you might already have a couple of super heroic NFTs from one of our games. Everything we'll mention here applies to your awesome collectibles as well. And if you're not on OnePlay, well, you're lost, but this guide will be useful to you too. Just like crypto, NFTs live on the blockchain. That means they have all the advantages of crypto, true ownership, transparency of movement, and many more. But there is one thing that sets them apart. They are unique. Think about it. When you buy something with crypto, it doesn't really matter if you use those tokens you got from an exchange a couple of days back or the ones you've saved for quite a while. Those are, in the end, just a number, really. Units of the same thing, the same currency. With NFTs, it's entirely different. Imagine two paintings, an original and a replica. The replica might even use the same kind of source materials, the paint with the same chemical formula, but it won't ever be exactly the same as the real thing. Similarly, it goes with NFTs. Every single one has unique properties, and because of that, it actually makes a difference which one from the whole collection you're dealing with. Now, how can this uniqueness manifest itself? It can be nominal, a different ID, a different series, a different schema, etc. And it can also be visually different, like bionicles or collectible game cards or toy figurines. It is quite often that these differences also lead to different rarities. And those, in turn, often get the gears grinding and NFTs moving around. So how do you move them around? Let's take a step back. Suppose you have a couple of NFTs from different collections. And it just so happens that one of those is incomplete and the other one has duplicates. But somebody else might have what you need and will be more than happy to take those excess tokens off your hands. Now your hunt for NFT starts on the Atomic Marketplace. First, you want to find the collection in question. You can also filter non-fungibles by the name if you remember it. Now, once your missing piece is found, simply open its details and click or tap on the owner's account name. You'll end up in their inventory, locate the non-fungible you want and make an offer against one of your duplicate NFTs or even a bundle. Now keep in mind that there is no guarantee your offer will be accepted. That's why it could help taking a look what kind of collections the owners have and what kind of price they're asking. Remember, it's supposed to be an honest, equitable trade. And that's it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Subscribe if you like the video and expect to have more content on NFTs, how to handle and sell them very, very soon. And of course, if you're not on OnePlay yet, sign up below to play your favorite mainstream games and earn crypto and NFTs from that. See you later. Ciao.